Hey Smug Stickets everyone, welcome to a new part of What If Super Boo Was Good. Previously, the Tournament of Power nearly ended in disaster. Zamazu was thought to be dormant within Super Boo, but as it turns out, he was spreading through his entire being, taking him over completely and forcing him to absorb various fighters across the tournament stage. The tournament changed from a battle royale and into a boss battle, as Goku was forced to fuse with Vegeta with a Potara provided by Caulifla in order to trick Super Boo into absorbing him Kaulifla, Jiren, and Hit. The team ventured into Boo, defeated some ghost warriors, and freed Boo from Zamazu. Though the evil Kai was still alive outside, Zeno teleported everyone away and destroyed the entire world of Void. The universes were saved, though Super Boo seemed a little more eager to fight. Now Trunks has returned to the future, and Frieza ventures out into space. Don't forget to turn that like button into candy, and let's continue with the story. With Frieza revived, he wants to find a way to not only defeat Goku, but humiliate Super Buu after his defeat in Resurrection F. Getting turned into candy was probably worse than getting cut into pieces by Trunks. Buu is sleeping at Mr. Satan's house while Goku and Vegeta train at Bulma's Island. The Majin has been challenging Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan over and over again, so now he's gone to sleep. They've realized that he's been really eager to fight ever since the Tournament of Power, though he runs out of steam quite often. It isn't long before Broly he arrives on Earth with the Frieza Force, and the fight begins. Everything goes on as normal, with Broly fighting Vegeta and later Goku, exploding into his Ikari state, his muscles bulging and eyes glowing with raw fury. The ground trembles, fissures cracking open under the sheer pressure. Goku braces himself. Despite his best efforts, he's starting to get pushed back. Each of Broly's punches feel like a mountain crashing down on him, and stopping him with a godbind didn't really mean anything. It's clear that although Broly isn't one to really fight, he wants to brawl Goku. Meanwhile, at Mr. Satan's home, Super Buu is resting peacefully, when suddenly his eyes snap open and a wide grin spreads across his face. The prospect of such powerful energy excites him greatly. Mr. Satan notices Buu's sudden change in demeanor, looking concerned and asking what's going on. Buu could feel everything, with Broly charging a massive energy sphere. Many other Z fighters could feel it too, but with Goku and Vegeta around, they knew they could handle it. Super Buu, on the other hand had something else in mind. Boo jumps up in excitement. Strong guy. Boo wants to fight a strong guy. Mr. Satan shouts at him to slow down, but Boo is already gone, teleporting away with a burst of pink energy. The impact of the departure creates a small shockwave, leaving Mr. Satan bewildered and knocked into the fridge. As Broly gets ready to launch down the energy sphere, Goku, Vegeta, and the others turn to see a noise coming their way. It was Majin Boo yelling over and over again. Mine, 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 mine. Mine, mine, mine. and punching Broly across the face and into a mountain. Boo's aura flared a blue color, creating a massive crater upon landing. The energy sphere breaks apart over them, raining down like bullets. Vegeta rushes to cover Bulma, while Goku face palms. Strong guy. Boo want to fight strong guy. Goku was distracted by Boo's sudden appearance, asking him what he's doing here, before Broly rushes out of the mountain with a ginormous punch towards Boo. The explosion actually actually breaks Boo apart, but he simply regenerates around Broly's fist. Goku and Vegeta are afraid that he's going to try to absorb him, but to their surprise, he doesn't. Instead, he twists his body to throw Broly up to the sky. Damn it, Boo, we were handling this. Vegeta growls. You've had your fun. It's time for Boo to fight now. Boo replied, not waiting for any response. He immediately charges in at Broly again, his limbs stretching unnaturally as he attacks. Broly's caught off guard by Boo's sudden assault, instinctively countering with powerful punches, which create giant shockwaves rattling around the area. But Boo instantly regenerates, laughing with glee. Goku and Vegeta were slightly worried. Ever since the tournament of power, Boo had been acting a little strange. Not I hate all mortals strange but strange nonetheless. In fact, he'd been requesting a lot more Poutsu cooking lately too. But above everything, Goku and Vegeta were extremely annoyed. They were having a lot of fun fighting Broly by themselves. They didn't need Boo around. Too often did he steal the spotlight. Although they appreciated him for training and his enthusiasm when it came to fighting, they also kind of wished that he wasn't so gun-ho about intervening in things. Despite his immense power, Broly is taken aback by Boo's resilience and unpredictable fighting style. Boo's body twists and contorts as he dodges Broly's attacks. Retaliating
retaliating with his own elastic punches and kicks. It wasn't often when someone would push Boo to be as creative as possible. Even so, despite Boo's strength and regeneration abilities, Broly's power was still overwhelming and it only seemed to grow stronger. They needed a new strategy to handle things. Boo, listen, don't absorb Broly. Boo, while dodging Broly's punches, looks back at Goku by twisting his head all the way around. Boo won't absorb this strong guy. Boo wants to fight strong people and get stronger on my own. Goku and Vegeta exchange glances, both slightly annoyed but also understanding. They felt the same way, realizing that they needed to work together to bring Broly down. Goku was also disappointed because he had an idea on how to get even stronger and fight Broly on equal terms. But with Boo around, it seemed like they may actually win. That was until Frieza realized this too. With rage burning in his eyes, the Emperor turned to look at Paragus. Getting ready to fire a death beam. It was nothing personal, he just really hated Boo. But Vegeta noticed this, appearing before Frieza and slapping his hand away, the death beam shooting up to the sky and exploding. This caught the fighter's attention. Looking down, as Frieza shrugged, he just wanted Broly to get stronger. Surely you Saiyans would enjoy a fiercer battle. Vegeta scolded Frieza, telling him that he should kill him right then and there. But this pause in battle proved to be a mistake, since Boo heard everything. If getting rid of that other Saiyan would make Broly stronger, then this was worth it. With a whip of his antenna, Boo launched a candy beam. Both Frieza and Vegeta jumped out of the way. At first, Frieza got ready to attack as well, thinking it was meant for him, when they turned around to see Paragus be turned into a little piece of chocolate. Everyone's eyes widened as they looked at Broly, who exploded into a Super Saiyan. Vegeta cursed under his breath, grabbing the chocolate and throwing it at Bulma, telling him to take care of it for now. He was going to rush up to continue the fight when Goku grabbed his arm and told him that he has a better idea, taking the chance to teleport over to Piccolo, who could teach them the fusion dance. Boo stretches his arms, wrapping them around Broly and squeezing tightly, but Broly simply roars, his muscles bulging as he breaks free from Boo's grip. Before Boo can regenerate. Broly grabs his outstretched limb and drags him in, firing a mouth blast directly at Boo's face. But the Majin reacts just in time as he anticipates the attack and uses instant transmission to teleport behind Broly, landing a powerful kick to Broly's back and sending him flying. Broly instantly recovers and charges in, their fists colliding in midair. Broly's anger reaches an apex from the mere frustration of fighting Boo and explodes into full power Super Saiyan. Instantly, Broly gains the upper hand, forcing Boo to do something incredible. As he's in Broly's grasp, Boo screams out, Kaioken! His body sizzling and burning from the strain, pushing Broly off and landing a barrage of energy blasts. Goku can sense this power up while with Vegeta and is completely taken aback. Even so, Boo can't maintain it for long. With a regular body like Goku's, the Kaioken puts a lot of strain on him, but with Boo's body, it's almost like it's burning him inside out. Thankfully, his regeneration can keep up for now, but if he pushes himself further, Further, he may burn himself to a crisp. Boo swings around the area, charging a Kamehameha, teleporting before Broly and firing it. Broly responds with his own mouth blast. The collision in the middle causes a huge explosion that sends both of them away. Shockwaves continue to sound off across the snowy landscape. The two stand before each other, screaming out and powering up their auras, with Boo once again using the Kaioken. Boo rushes towards Broly, but as they're about to clash again in the middle, Boo's body molts away, dodging Broly's attack and turning into a ball, striking him over and over again, until Broly gets a hold of the ball and slams his head into it over and over, digging Boo into the ground. Before Broly can continue, Boo digs underground and reappears above the snow, cracking his neck and saying that he's definitely the strongest guy he's fought. If it wasn't for his regeneration, then he'd be in trouble. The intense clash between Boo and Broly continues, when the air suddenly ripples with a surge of powerful energy. Goku and Vegeta had successfully fused into Gogeta and appeared in the middle of the battlefield, catching Broly and Boo's fists right before they clash again. It's time to end this. Boo, leave this to me. But Boo cocked an eyebrow, sensing the overwhelming strength emanating from Gogeta. His excitement grows even more. You're strong. Boo wants to fight you too. A wide grin across his face. Broly roared, forcing Gogeta and Boo to jump back. Look, Boo, we have to stop Broly first. He's too dangerous. 
We got to get him under control. But Boo is already rushing towards him. He's too excited to hold back, charging towards Gogeta with a wild grin. He stretches his arms, aiming for a powerful punch to Gogeta's face. The fusion is taken aback for a second, but blocks the attack with his forearm. Calm down, Boo. Listen to me. Broly was coming from one side and Boo from the other. Gogeta jumped up to the sky, forcing the other two into a clash in the middle, before they both looked up and fired their own beams at Gogeta. Boo wants to fight strong people. Boo wants to get stronger. Gogeta sighs, realizing that Boo won't be swayed while dodging the blast. All right, if you want to fight so badly, then let's do this. It could be fun. With Gogeta accepting, the battle royale commenced. Gogeta takes on both Broly and Boo, moving with incredible speed and precision. His strikes are powerful and deliberate, each one designed to keep both of his opponents at bay. Instantly bursting into Super Saiyan Blue, Broly focused his efforts on Gogeta, but each of the strikes is met with a counterattack, sending him reeling. Boo throws himself into the fray, morphing his body to attack from multiple angles, stretching his limbs and firing energy blasts. But Gogeta anticipated all the moves, dodging and countering with ease. Goku and Vegeta always love fighting you, Boo, but you're going to need more than tricks to beat me. The battlefield becomes a whirlwind of energy, as Gogeta, Broly, and Boo engaged in this all-out brawl. But Gogeta's power is above them all. He blocks Broly's powerful punches, while at the same time reflecting Boo's unpredictable blasts. The cracks of reality around them begin to fall apart. Broly rose up to the sky, unleashing a rain of blasts. Gogeta avoided them as he approached Broly, but Boo had the same idea, as at the same time, Gogeta and Super Boo burst a punch directly into Broly's face, crossing like an X as they left an explosion behind. Immediately, Boo sensed the chance, teleporting behind Gogeta to throw a powerful punch. But Gogeta sensed it, spinning around to block it, kicking Boo flying off. You're both strong, I'm just stronger. But Boo quickly recovered, as did Broly. All three of the warriors looked at each other, before Broly roared and began rushing in towards Gogeta. Boo did the exact same thing, as Gogeta in the middle moved his arms up, creating two key balls on each palm, making them dance together around him. Gogeta was about to take their attack head on, just as they both reached him. He ducked and placed the key balls on both of their chests, exploding out in a radiant light. The explosion is blinding, its force shaking the entire area. Gogeta knew that they were both nearly out of the fight. He tried to tell them that they don't have to keep fighting anymore. It's clear who the victor is. Boo's stomach started to growl. The fusion had to end this now. As Boo tried to recover, Gogeta appeared above him, kneeing him in the face, knocking him to the ground and stepping on him, grabbing him by the head and stretching him out. Sorry, Boo, but I don't have time for this anymore. And using the pink monster as a makeshift bow and arrow, aiming as Broly's slowly got up in a daze and shooting him out full of key directly into his forehead. The two monsters knocked each other out, laying on the snow as things finally settled down. Gogeta slowly approached the pair as Sheila and Lemo got ready to summon the dragon and wish Broly away in order to save him. But Gogeta spun on his heel, telling them to stop. Broly can't leave without his father, but Frieza, he should leave now. Sheila and Lemo were confused, and as Frieza attempted to leave with the Dragon Balls, Gogeta just grabbed his arm. Frieza rolled his eyes and stepped back into the spaceship. The fusion was undone as Vegeta kicked Boo to wake him up and drag him towards Bulma so he can undo the spell on Paragus. Shilai and Lemo comforted Broly, who was confused and apprehensive towards Goku. But slowly they all relaxed, as Goku explained that they can help them and asked just what everyone's deal was. As soon as Paragus was returned to his regular self, his eyes met Vegeta's, and he launched himself to attack the Saiyan Prince. But Paragus's punch didn't even cross past his aura. Vegeta said that if he wanted to kill Paragus and Broly, then he would have let Boo turn them into candy. Paragus turned to look at Boo, who stuck his tongue out and made him jump back, falling on himself. Remembering what it was like to eat chocolate, Vegeta slowly approached Paragus, to which Broly sprung up to defend his father. But to his surprise, Vegeta instead extended out his hand. I don't exactly know what your deal is with us, but we are some of the last Saiyans around. If you need a home, we can help. Paragus didn't respond, he just sat there in awe. This man was nothing like his father. Paragus didn't take the hand, but he stood up on his own and nodded, calling Broly over. Sheila and Lama were still upset at Paragus, and Goku intervened, saying that if he's to stay here, then no more of that color business Sheila mentioned to him. Broly would have to learn self-control. Paragus wanted to argue otherwise, but he really didn't have a leg to stand on. If these people could actually help him and his son, then so be it. Boo's stomach growled, interrupting the moment. 
moment. He was going to eat Paragus, but now he needs to find something else, turning to look at the Dragon Balls and cocking an eyebrow, before Goku and Vegeta burst into blue and told him not to think about it. Guess he would just have to settle for something else, like snow candy. Another chapter was closed. Boo had proven to be both a hindrance and a hero, with Goku and Vegeta happy that they can train with Broly instead of just Boo. But a huge amount of energy has been exerted from the Majin, as he finally falls asleep again. And he better get some good night's sleep, because he will be needed more than ever. Next, what if Super Boo turned good? Thanks so much for watching everyone. In these kinds of videos, Broly always feels like the calm before the storm. A fun fight for our heroes before everything goes down. Anyways, thank you so much to the patrons of the channel. Could not do this without you guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at SmugStickDB. And if you're looking for more Dragon Ball theories, be sure to check out What If Goku Was Sent to Yardrat? Or how about the full story of What If Piccolo Got Orange Early?